in what was an eight-point loss to Indiana after that last-second loss to Texas one week from today. Dennis Evans set to tip off with KZ Iziagu, and the tip is won by the cards, and here comes Sky Clark. He has scored in double figures in all games for the cards so far this season, as has Trey White. And this is kind of the normal starting lineup we've seen. We've seen it changed once, but Trey White, Sky Clark, Mike James, Brandon Huntley, Hatfield, and Dennis Evans, Jody, who has not done a lot the last couple no, we of want to see. I want to see more from Dennis Evans. He's going to have to. As Mike James is shot from the corner, he misses that one. And uh, Huntley Hatfield tries to get the rebound and uh, does a good job, but Carpenter comes down with it. By design, you think, trying to get him going early? Uh, I do think so. I think you got to get Mike James going. He struggled a little bit. We look at the starting lineup for New Mexico State. They're all new guys, but hey, guess what? Everybody on this team is new, Kent. 15 newcomers for New Mexico State. Well, we do want to see Jordan Rawls getting a start. You may recognize that name. He played at Western not once, but twice actually actually. Um, and their best player, we are told, we will not see him today. Femi Odakale, the transfer from Pitt and Seton Hall, their leading scorer, has only been eligible for three games, but out with a minor illness. We do, however, expect to see Jalen Jackson Posey uh, at some point, and we see right there Robert Carpenter, who's scored in double figures in five straight games, get the first two points of the afternoon. Yeah, Carpenter is a guy who can really score it at 12 and a half points per game. He averaged about 18 points at Mississippi Valley State uh, last season, so he is a guy on this team that can score it. <laughs> you mentioned it though. An entirely new roster, a new coaching staff. Jason Hooten coming from is it balls thrown out of bounds from Sam Houston um, yeah. after a long, long career there. It's not often that you see that, that not one, but the entire bench, everyone on the bench from coaches and players are new from last year. Uh, and they've started out three and four against what what I would call uh, uh, you know some 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 decent competition. They've played a couple of games that are pretty good. Well, opening night in Rupp Arena as they were uh, beaten by Kentucky. Uh, battle for the ball, it's gonna be a jump ball and it will be New Mexico State ball as Dennis Evans and Easy Agu fighting for that one. Uh, yeah, you, their entire new, obviously they had some off the court issues last year, shut down their program. Um, Jason Hooten come after 261 wins in 13 seasons at Sam Houston State, including some postseason appearances, uh, an NIT appearance. Press and from Louisville, and I think we will see a little bit more of that. I think Kenny Payne will see a little bit more aggressive attitude here from uh, from the Cards today as they've improved. They've shown the improvement uh, in New York against good competition, now playing a lesser competition or one that they're favored over as Jordan Rawls gets that step back. One that they're favored over, I think you want to see him, I think he wants to force the, the action a little bit. Aggies out to a quick 4 nothing lead. Sky Clark still hasn't hit a three in this building, although he shot the ball pretty well in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, he did. He was actually uh, the, the the game against uh, Texas. It was like that's what he all he wanted to do was shoot the three, and it was going down for him. Four on the shot clock. Huntley Hatfield's going to have to fire up the triple and comes out the front of the rim. White deflects it, and here come the Aggies again. Here is Christian Cook to Rawls. And Jason Hoot is maybe the most active coach we're going to see in here because he does not stop on that sideline over there. Well, and it's not only that, but, I mean, he is. It's, we're going to get an, an offensive foul there. Sky Clark hits the deck, and I believe that's going to be on Jaden Harris. So the first on Harris, the first on the team, as we're going to see Jalen Jackson Posey uh, come in here. He's missed the last two games. He was... Uh, uh, in concussion protocol, he is uh, averaging 10 and a half, 10.2 points per game, and uh, he's got 21 assists and four and a half rebounds per game. He really is a really, really good guard for these guys. He mentioned didn't play in the two games in Cancun out in, in concussion protocol, but Scott Clark gets the screen from Evans, and then we'll get another foul here. Our officials, by the way, Lee Castle, Bill Covington Jr., and Tommy Morrissey this afternoon. First foul on Kanyenga, who just checked in at that last timeout, along with Jackson Posey. Caleb Glenn, who looked fantastic. Boy, well, and, He and, helped and, to make the run in the Indiana game. And again, they, he didn't play a ton against Texas, but when he got in there in the last minute or so, he actually made a positive play for uh, for Louisville and then was really good uh, against Indiana in the, in the 12 minutes that he played. He is active. He's physical. He's the one guy on this Louisville team, I think, the physicality 
It's going to be over and back because that was off of Trey White's foot. I, I feel like he gets in trouble when he starts to dribble the ball, when he starts yeah. to pound it. Back to Caleb Glenn. He's the one guy on this team for Louisville that brings a physicality that we don't see this Louisville team. They need that. They need some spark from him, and that's what he gave them in the IU game. Cards 0 for 3 from 3 in their first five possessions with two turnovers. So not a great start coming off what was an encouraging trip to New York. Five on the shot clock for New Mexico State. Rawls is going to have to pull it. He drives in the lane and misses, and Huntley happy with another rebound, something he's been doing consistently all year. Yeah, he's been their best rebounder, and he needs to be that. He needs to be more assertive on the offensive end. He has been in a couple of games as Trey White to the basket. He'll shoot it, and he misses it, but he's fouled. I like that Trey White. There wasn't a whole lot of dribbling. There was a dribble, and then he decided, I'm going to the basket, and that's when he is at his best right there. When he's dribbling a lot, he gets himself in trouble, as we've seen in the first couple of possessions here. He's got a turnover already. Well, I'd scored in double figures in all five of the Cards games so far this season. That foul on Jackson Posey, his first. White, a 72% free throw shooter, and he's gotten there quite a bit early in the season. This will be his 33rd free throw already, hey, Kim, and he's able to knock it down. That's what he does. He's going to have to do that for this team as they get into the ACC play and they're playing better competition. He is a guy who can create. He's got a match. He's going to always have a pretty good matchup on him. He can take advantage of his size and the way he can handle the ball. It's just a matter of when he gets stuck in the, in the, in the dribbling mode. He's just not as effective when he does what he did right there. You see Louisville gets two points out of it. First two of the game for the Cards. By the way, Christian Cook back into the game for New Mexico State, as is Monzi Jackson, a transfer from, among other places, Wichita State. A lot of these guys have, have had more than one stop in their college careers. Here's Jackson Posey. Off the roll to Jackson. He goes under the basket and flips it up and in. Glenn. I'm sorry, Kenyenga. That was Kenyenga. Caleb Glenn a little late coming over to help, and that's where the freshman he's going to have to learn on the defensive end. He's got to get better of reaction time. Jody, how quickly do you think we'll see Tyler Johnson? Because I feel like when he was in the game in New York, Louisville was better. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I definitely think so, but uh, we'll take a break. We'll talk about that when we come back. New Mexico State out to a quick 6-2 lead over Louisville. <laughs> a first child can be stressful. Welcome back to the KFC Yum Center on this Sunday afternoon. Uh, New Mexico State with a 6-2 lead over Louisville. Cards coming off what was two losses, but I think an encouraging performance in the Empire Classic. And really, Sky Clark and Trey White, uh, they both scored in double figures in every game this season, Jody. Uh, Kent Taylor, Jody Demling here, and Jody, they both played well in New York. Yeah, no, they really did. I mean, when you look at Sky Clark, he shot the ball so much better from three-point range. He actually made, he actually made him. He did. Better than <laughs> he did, did the first three games here. He didn't make one. Uh, but Louisville got to the free throw line. We talked about it with, uh, with Trey White when he was at the line. You see 9 of 12 for Clark, 10 of 14 for White. Mike James hits that one for Louisville. And now all three of their points today here from the free throw line. When this team is doing what they're doing best, they're taking the ball to the basket. Yes, they're a good shooting team. We haven't seen them shoot it great here in this building yet. They will shoot it better. But there's so much more effective when they're taking it to the basket. And James is a guy who, as he misses the second free throw, he he had been really their go-to scorer in those first three games here, double figures, including 25 points, 10 rebounds in the opener, but only scored 10 points in the two games in New York, including just two Jody against Texas as we get a 10-second violation here. Sky Clark guarding Jackson Posey coat closely, but were you surprised that Louisville was able to, they should have really won the Texas no, game. I mean, I mean, Ace Miss hits a, yeah, a tough I mean, shot at the buzzer. Really. I mean, with, when when Trey and Sky are playing like they were, and Tyler Johnson played like he did. I mean, remember Tyler Johnson with 20 points and six assists in those two games uh, in New York as he gets off the bench and is uh, getting ready to check in here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I like to see that that they don't have to rely on one guy. And Mike didn't have a great tournament there, a great two games there, 
Instead, yet still Louisville should have won both of those games. The deflection there, Tyler Johnson had the game. 3.5 seconds on the shot clock, you'll see. Cards down 6-3, still looking for their first field goal here against this New Mexico State team. Trey White is going to have to get it off quick. He just does. Hits the rim, can't get it to go. And easy I go with the rebound. Tyler Johnson had a, a, a really unbelievable two games. Uh, he had 14 against Texas, six assists against Texas, got to the free throw line. You see him there. He has been limited some in that last run. People were like, why was he not out there? Why was he not out there? He, has a, he had a little bit of a groin injury and was trying to stretch that out and get back out there. He did, but he has missed some practice, so I'm interested to see how good he'll be here today. Three on the shot clock, Cook. Can't get it to go, and Trainer goes up and gets the rebound for the cards. Tyler Johnson, JJ Trainer, Mike James, Caleb Blinn, and Trey White on the court right now for U of L. White inside spins, takes the hit, but can't get the shot to go. Rebound by Monzi Jackson. Needs some contact there, but Trey's got to finish that shot through contact. This New Mexico State team coming off a 81-54 loss to Southern Illinois in Cancun on Wednesday. Before that, they lost 81-76 to Fresno State in overtime in a game they led in the final minute. It looked like they were going to win it, but Fresno with a late three and forced overtime. Caleb Glenn all the way to the basket. Can't get it to go. Cards still without a field goal as we're nearing the 13 and a half minute mark in the first half. And that is Christian Cook with the triple for the Aggies, and it is 9-3 New Mexico State. Christian Cook, a 42% career three-point shooter. That's one thing you can't do is leave him open there. He's already got a game with five this season. Trainer's going to try a three, can't get it to go. Another miss for the Cards, and another rebound for the Aggies. And New Mexico State looking to build on a six-point lead here as Louisville is now 0 for 7 from the field, including 0 for 4 from three. Jackson Posey gets in the lane, can't get it. Isiago with a tip, but James comes up with it, and here comes Tyler Johnson. Can he push the pace? Yes, he can. He gets all the way to the basket. The left-hander misses, but Trainer there for the follow slam, and the Cards finally have a field goal. And Tyler creating something. His speed, his quickness, his ability with the ball, he creates that by getting a shot, and a good shot at that. He just missed it, and J.J. Trainer there for the putback. Jackson Posey to Cook. Isiago's got a good matchup he likes. He's got James posted up. He spins the left-handed shot off the glass is good. Yeah, he's he's going to get that pretty much any time. Isiago, 6'10", from Ontario, Canada. James in the corner for three, and that one rattles around and comes out. Isiago with the rebound. He's Isiago's been at UTEP. Kansas All State these guys and been... Sam Houston State, and now here at New Mexico State. This is his fourth stop. He started 33 games at Sam Houston State last year. Started 18 games over two seasons at Kansas State. Jackson goes baseline. What? That had to be something. He went up and down the ball. Yeah, that had to be totally... We'll go to break, though, as uh, Louisville just one for 10 from the field, down 13. Go to Cali, their leading scorer and rebounder. Uh, 16 points, 7.7 rebounds, three assists. The transfer from Pitt and Seton Hall most recently, um, just out with a little illness. Uh, we mentioned they came straight from Cancun here. And uh, he's only played three games for him after he got his waiver from the NCAA, but he's been impressive. Yeah, a little late getting that waiver, but 16.7.7 rebounds. And uh, uh, he is a guy that is very, very talented. Tyler Johnson, kick to Curtis Williams, and he misses a three. One of the Johnson. better shots they've had, and then Johnson with a rebound, and we'll see if they give him shots there. It no, wasn't pass, was passing it. But... Yeah, they're going to call it out of bounds passing. Look, Kent, Louisville's got they haven't scored done much a, well. Louisville <laughs> one for eleven on, from the field. Louisville's only scored three possessions, and the three times they scored, they've gotten to the free throw line twice, and the bucket from uh, the putback from uh, from JJ Trainer. All three times going to the basket and not settling for jump shots is where they have scored. Sky Clark gets in the pack. Finds his angle and is able to score the second field goal of the afternoon for the Cards. What they've done well so far, they've drawn fouls. New Mexico State has five. 
And they've shot free throws pretty well so well, far. And that's the four. fourth time they've gotten the ball to the paint. The fourth time they've driven the ball to the basket, and something positive has happened on all I, four I, of them. Tyler Johnson's got to be on the court for this team, I think, as much as possible, because he just changed it as he gets out on the break. Oh, and he was fouled, and now he's hurt. So, yeah, yeah it looks thing. like he re-injured. Maybe he re-injured that groin. He's down. That's it. Yeah, you can see him wincing. You know, that's an injury, Jody, that it only hurts when you move, which can be a problem for a basketball player. And he's one of those things where you kind of got to let it heal before you come back. But a lot of times just a, a certain step or a play like that can, can trigger it and aggravate it as he goes to the free throw line and misses the first. 14 of 16 before that. It's 10 of 12 in the game against Texas. And Tyler makes that one. Cut showing a little life throughout that timeout. And Tyler doesn't, he appears to be okay. I mean, he's not really wincing now. He was when he went down there. Huntley Hatfield in for James. So the cards a little bigger than what they were with trainer Williams and Huntley Hatfield in there. Rawls, by the way, number two, scored a point in Ford Western Kentucky last year in the Cards' first win of the season when they beat the toppers here in the KOCM Center. We're going to get a foul in the box out there on Huntley Hatfield as he was boxing out Robert Carpenter. The first foul on Huntley Hatfield and the first foul on the Cards here with 10-19 to go in the first half. Just a little late reacting from Huntley Hatfield as they get Jackson Posey back in the game. Easy Iago back in the game for them as well. Rawls set to throw it in on the baseline. Get into Easy Iago, back to Rawls. This jumper over Huntley Hatfield is good. Jordan Rawls. Rawls has averaged five and a half or more points in four straight years. Three of them at Western Kentucky, one at Georgia State. Stepped out of bounds, Curtis Williams. So the cards with a turnover there. That's turnover number three for Louisville. Just two of 12 from the field. Got to look at Kenny Payne over there on the sidelines. Um, the former New York Knicks assistant had a chance to coach in Madison Square Garden against a former Knicks assistant in their game on Monday. And Mike Woodson in Indiana as Cook pulls the trigger on another three and hits another three. And it's a 10-point lead for New Mexico State here with nine and a half minutes left to play in the first half. Kicking the corner of the trainer for the wide open three that rattles out. Cart settling for some threes here in this first half, and so far they are 0 for 7. Well, 0 for, 7, 0 for 7, 2 for 13 from the field. But the other thing, too, is Tyler takes that one away, and he's going to go in and get a dunk. That's what he does. He can give him a spark on both ends of the floor. But, Kent, the one thing that stands out more than maybe anything to me is 11 to 6 in rebounding right now. And that possession before was a perfect example of Huntley Hathaway just kind of watching as the ball was rebounded, and uh, they Carpenter get an easy bucket. Inside for the easy two. It's the big hit from Carpenter, Sky Clark does, and he'll go to the line for two free throws. How about Sky? Let's take a look at Tyler with the steal and the dunk here, Jody. Good job with the back tap. And get up for a Doesn't little guy. Doesn't seem too worried about the groin injury there. He looked fine. Were you surprised late in that Texas game when Kenny Payne called the play for Sky Clark, who had hit a three, had to, to get three, and then he knocked it right down, and then no, hit another because, one after that? Yeah, no, because, I, I mean, he looked confident up there in that game. And, and that's the thing. Like, Sky Clark can shoot the ball. He hasn't shot it well here in this building, but he can shoot the ball. And I think you've got to show that confidence uh, in your guys if you're going to, to have that in them. And you, you've got to be confident with, uh, with, with those guys in those situations. And I think that did a lot for Sky Clark for him moving forward 
was four of six that game, two of nine against Indiana after starting 0 for eight from three-point range. As the Cards have been firing up threes this afternoon, 0 for seven from three. New Mexico State with a 12-6 advantage in the paint in the early going. Here's Jackson Posey, and he's gonna add to, oh, I thought he was gonna add to it, but he missed the wide open layup, kicks out the Rawls for the three. It's short, but another offensive rebound. This time it's Cook, and his shot in the lane is good, and it's back to a 10-point lead for the Aggies. Eight minutes to go. Scott Clark, Mike James, J.J. Trainer, Brandon Huntley Hatfield, and Trey White on the court right now. Although Emmanuel Acorafor, who has not seen a lot of minutes in the early going this season, set to check in at the next dead ball. I'm looking for somebody to get some rebounds. Nobody seems to want to rebound for Louisville's Mike James takes it strong to the basket. He'll get a couple free throws when we return. Right now, though, New Mexico State leading Louisville 22 to 12. The cards struggling early. We are back here in the KFC Young Center, New Mexico State, with a 22 12 lead on Louisville. And this Aggies roster, well, let's just say it's loaded with transfers. Everybody's new. And you just look at some of the schools, I mean, all over the map, Joe. Yeah, they're from everywhere. I mean, I think the total, when you count up how many schools these guys have all been to at some point in their college career, it's over 20 different schools. And when you look at it, it's guys from all over. And like you said, it's the entire roster, Ken. It's uh, everyone, 15 new players on this team, seven seniors, four juniors, and two freshmen on the team and, by, and five countries too. New players, new coaches, new conference. They're in Conference mm -hmm. USA now, picked to finish eighth in that league. Um, as Mike James goes to the line for two free throws and a chance to get the cards a little closer. And he misses that. That's the second miss in the line. By the way, this this uh, Jason Hoot, New Mexico State team, came in shooting 40% for the field this season. They are shooting 60% so far here in the KFC Yum Center as they built this 10 point lead. And, James misses both. Uh, Emmanuel Okorafor in the game as the Cards will try to get some paint touches, which is something we hear so much about, but they've been kind of settling for threes, and they're 0 for 7 from 3 in the early going and getting out-rebounded 14 to 6 now by this New Mexico State team. Scott yeah. Clark guarding Rawls. Here's Cook. 10 on the shot clock, Jody. Yeah, that's the biggest thing right now is getting just hammered, giving up easy shots on the defensive end and getting hammered on the boards. Cards with a little more intensity, I think, at the defensive end on that possession out of the timeout. Clark to the basket, the lob to Trainer, and duck number two for JJ. And a good job by Sky Clark. Again, get the ball in the paint and make something happen. It's been positive when they've done that today. They just haven't done it very often. Rawls with it in the switch, so. Now they've got a matchup problem here is Carpenter. Carpenter tries to swing it over, but Trey White picks off the pass and see if the cards can get something going on the break, but the defense catches up. They missed that. They had a huge advantage underneath the basket, and at one point, Trainer was wide open under the basket. Can't miss opportunities like that. They should be able to get the big guy off the roll on one of these pick and rolls because New Mexico State does not switch on that pick and roll. They they try to stay with the four four misses, but Trey White with the offensive rebound of the basket, and the cards are within six. So and that a was, bit of a run. That was not a great shot it by four four, but I like the idea because he recognized that he had to do something and he went to make a move. Again, not a great shot, but at least he's out there look, look at making Jason something happen. He is fired up and not happy with the way that ended up. Cards though within six on this little run, 22-16, New Mexico State. What even is this? Don't touch my things, gross. Janice, when you bundle your home or renters with your auto, Progressive provides 24-7 protection for almost everything you own. But do you really need- My weighted hoop? It's for my snatched waist. It's my dog chase lounger. Foot treadmill. That's my Tuesday chalice. Purse that says purse. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber. I can't live without oxygen. Solid gold coffee machine. Lake making kit. Really? Can Progressive cover that too? Yes, but... Hi, it's Janice. I'll take five. Is my voice on TV right now? All right, we are back. Louisville, a uh, little bit of a run there. 2-12 uh, scoring drought. 
for New Mexico State as the Cards have cut what was a 10-point lead down to 6 at 22-16. Jason Newton not at all happy about that offensive rebound Trey White got at the other end on that last basket with the quick timeout. And we're back to it here with Sky Clark, J.J. Trainer, Emmanuel Acorafor, Mike James, and Trey White on the court for the Cards as we see Jason Hooten. He is very active on that New Mexico State sideline. A little bit more active the last couple possessions uh, on the defensive end, and they need to be. And it's oh, gonna my be a goodness. Foul. Sky Clark with the deflection. I thought we were going to get a jump ball, but Bill Covington with a foul on Sky Clark because he was had kind of knocked the ball away from Jackson Posey. I mentioned Jackson Posey missed their last two games uh, with a concussion. Their opener, an 86-46 loss to Kentucky in Rupp Arena. Jackson Posey had 10 against Kentucky and then 12 points, six assists, and five rebounds against Western New Mexico. Inside the dunk by Eziago. And the lead's back to eight. White drills into trouble again and almost has it taken away, but that'll be another foul. That'll be a foul on Eziago on the, the quarter four screen as Sky Clark tried to get to the basket. That's their ninth team foul already. Ooh, which is two team fouls. 5-17 left in the half. And we one and one for Sky Clark. Two for two from the line so far today for Sky. Get Tyler Johnson back in here. Number four, Tyler Johnson. And he's coming in for Trey White. So that, <clears throat> this is the lineup. I like White out there with Louisville, but I like, I like Tyler Johnson and Clark together. And Clark yeah. together. I think that's yes. when they're at their best. As Clark makes both of those free throws. 24-18. Clark guarding Jackson Posey closely. Harris will try the three. That's going to be short, and the Cards get the rebound. Johnson always looking to go to the basket. A serious screen from a quarter four over there, and then the, on the baseline. Tyler, as that ball would go out of bounds on them as he tried to get it to Clark in the corner. Yeah, he just got too deep on that one. Is uh, kind of got pushed a little to the line as we're going to get Huntley Hatfield back in for a core four. Not a bad couple minutes, though, for Emmanuel. Is he... The best thing he did was that screen he set on the last possession, Joey. Rawls guarded by Johnson. He goes by him. James switches. Three from Jackson misses off the back of the rim. And cards get another chance as the Aggies have cooled off a little bit as the cards have picked up their defensive pressure. James misses inside, gets the rebound, can't get it to go. Out to Clark. Thought about the three for a second. Now he's going to drive on Cook to the basket and gets it to go. And I'll have a chance to complete the three-point play and get the cards within three. Yeah, so Sky making something happen there for Louisville. And you can tell Mike James all the way down the floor on that possession was looking to go to the basket. He did. He couldn't get it. But Louisville with the offensive rebound. And Cook will go to the Aggies bench with his second personal foul, their 10th team foul. So the Cards in the double bonus for the final four minutes of the half. And again, Louisville with just two personal fouls in this first half. And I, I don't, does that speak to their aggressiveness at the defensive end? I mean, that, no, because they have been aggressive at the up top for a few of these. I mean, you know, Tyler's got the steal. Sky's got a couple that he almost had. I think they need to be more physical, and I think that speaks to some of the things. Although they have cut the rebounding margin to 14 to 12, it was 14 to 6 just a few minutes ago. Yeah, 
Clark has been all over Jackson Posey bringing the ball up the court and shortening the shot clock for the offensive possession. They even have a 10 second call. That's going to be an offensive foul there. Clark back in it. 24-21, New Mexico State leads with 3.51 to play in the first half. Proved greatly in the world's most famous arena, Joey. Yeah, I mean, look at the, just look at those numbers. I, I don't, I'm not sure you can explain it. I think it was just more of a poor Throw it in the Coppin State game as well. Right, so. and, and, and you know, the thing about it is in the Texas game, uh, Texas didn't shoot it very well. Louisville did a, Indiana's not a great shooting team, so I think that helped a little bit. Today, New Mexico State, two of eight, but on the flip side, Louisville, 0 for 7 from 3. Louisville can't get anything going from outside. But they've also stopped settling for the threes the last couple of possessions. As trainer drives on the paint. Oh, he spins and shoots. It looked to me like he might have been able to get that ball to Huntley Adfield, but the rebound by Harris, and here comes New Mexico State. Sky Clark has already drawn five fouls in this first half. The nice backdoor cut. Huntley Hatfield with the block and Trainer able to call it a loose ball and see if the Cards can convert this to some offense as they cut into this three-point lead. Clark, the Trainer, he can't handle it, but he's able to come back up with it and then not sure if he hit Monzi Jackson or that was just a... He was looking for the foul and then Johnson has the ball knocked away and here come the Aggies. A little ragged right now from both teams as uh, quick shots turnovers and uh, missed shots. A, a lot too much turkey, things. maybe. Louisville has had more energy on defense in the last couple minutes, though. Harris to Jackson into Huntley Hatfield. He scores, and that'll be a foul on Brandon Huntley Hatfield, which will be his second personal with 2.36 left here in the first half. You can always tell Huntley Hatfield when he is into a game when he's active, and today just doesn't look like he is very active. He's late reacting. That's the second time on defense that he's been late reacting. It's resulted in a foul. Uh, and he's only got two rebounds in 10 minutes. Uh, for him, he's got to do more than that for this team. And he's been the consistent rebounder for this team. Uh, Monzi Jackson, a 6'7 senior from Dublin, Georgia. To complete the three-point play, can't do it. And trainer with the rebound for the Cards. Yeah, Jackson now just... Had missed just one free throw coming into that. Eight on the shot clock for the guards, down five. Clark to the basket, over to White, over to James. Less than one to shoot, he's gotta get it up quick and he did not get it up on a shot clock violation. Again, that ball gets stuck at times for Louisville. You saw it there early in the shot clock. Trey White with a couple of too many dribbles. Then late in the shot clock, is going to be a foul on Tyler Johnson on the hold. Late in the shot clock, Sky Clark gets it in too many dribbles. Once he makes the idea for the pass across court to Trey White, it's just too late for them to react and get a shot up. Kit, there's a lot of things that are that are that are not good with this team when you watch them. That's one of the things that has been consistent all year. Is a lot of times on offense that ball just gets stuck. Iziago just goes right through Trainer, and again with that left-handed shot off the glass. We've seen that a couple times in the first half, and the big fellow with six points and seven rebounds. So Louisville got within three. New Mexico State's responded with four straight. Tyler has the ball knocked away as he gets to the paint. Then a loose ball, a little ragged out here. Trey White comes up with it and lays it up and in. Players laying all over the floor. I thought Tyler was fouled and then fouled and then fouled. He fouled twice. No call or anything, but Trey White gets the bucket. Rawls gets free on the baseline and knocks down the jumper. It's another thing. When this team does something positive, it seems like it always they always compound that with doing something negative on the defensive end as they're just a little lax down there. Sky Clark all the way to the basket. And they're they gonna, are going to count that. that. And Clark's limping a little bit too coming out of that. 
54.2 seconds left to play. That cuts the deficit to five and puts Clark into double figures with 11 points. Jason Hooten gonna put Keelon Dorsey in the game for these final 54 seconds and let Jackson Posey get a little bit of a breather. They now have four players with two fouls. The core four back in for Louisville. His trainer goes to the bench. Rebounding now 15-14, and it was, what, 14-6? It was 14-6. White knocks down that free throw. He has 12 points, a six for six from the line, and has definitely been the star of this first half for Louisville as they trail 30-26. Rawls doing a lot of dribbling on this possession. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Clark defending and we're gonna get an, Bill Covington to call the offensive foul on Rawls. Did he hook? Clark, I couldn't see it. I couldn't tell from the, from our angle, but that's what he called. And uh, there was no complaint from the uh, New Mexico State bench, so must have been. It'll be his four, his second personal. They have four players with five players with two personal fouls and their ninth turnover of the first half. So yeah, one point four second difference. Do you hold it for one here? I think I do. I mean, I, I think you, 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 if you get something because they've been getting some good looks uh, early in the shot clock because of this, of this New Mexico State defense and the way they switch or lack of switching, if you can get something, but it looks like Louisville's going to hold it. Oh, almost lost it on the exchange there between White. All right, 10 now on the shot clock. Johnson, nice pass to Trainer and a third dunk for J.J. in this first half. That might have been their best offensive possession of the half. And that's just the second assist of the half. But that right there is what Tyler Johnson can bring to this team. That's what he needs to bring to this team. And if they can do that, they're more... The first lead of the afternoon. And we'll get a quick foul on Scott Clark. His second personal. You see Jason Hooten, the coach for New Mexico State. Rawls, Harris, Carpenter, Cook, and Easy Agu on the court for the Aggies. Jody mentioned the one change for the cards. They get the easy back door, and James beat by Cook. And Cook now has 10 points. He's in double figures, and the Aggies are back in front at 32-31. Corfor with it to Trey White, and I like the Corfor. He is more active on the offensive end than Dennis Evans is right now. Good look there from White. Just didn't go down. I mean, it's a... Sky Clark gets into the paint, gets deep, and, and passes it back out. Rawls with the shot. Trey White with the rebound. And Louisville doing a much better job on the boards, Kent, than what they were. Again, at one point, it was 12 to six. Now it is 16-15 Louisville. I, I feel like we should see more of that in the second half, though, as the core four misses, but he got the ball. If the, if the big men will roll off that pick and make themselves available, it's there. They'll be open because they're not switching on the pick and roll. And that was actually perfect right there. Trey White got to the core four. He just didn't really take his time and missed the shot. That's We're going to get a charge there as Mike James stands in there and takes the hit. So there you have it on, on the possession before that. Mike James, not, no help behind him. He gets beat on the pick and roll, but again, makes a good defensive play there, makes up for it, hops outside of the circle of the uh, arc under the basket there and takes the charge. Second foul on the, the big guy, Iziaku. Core for was deflected. It wasn't a great one, but the car still end up with it. James inside, and how about a court for coming up with a loose ball and putting it in? Attacking the basket, though. Mike James going to it, making something happen. 
at a core four there. Now Louisville ties up the rebounding battle as they take a one point lead. Rawls, a clear path to the baseline. He pulls up and hits the 15 foot jumper and it's 34-33. New Mexico State back in front. This little seesaw early in the second half. Scott Clark adding to his impressive afternoon. 17 points for Scott Clark. And 20 against Texas was the most he's had this year for the cards. A core four with the steal. A nice play defensively. Clark the quick push to James has it knocked away and then a battle for it on the ground. And Boy, Carpenter dove down and got it. James, is he okay? He gets up gingerly now. It's a five on four for New Mexico State. And Harris pulls the trigger on the triple. And that's the first three for the Aggies since the early going. And I think I, his we're just going to check on James here. The reason for the whistle, but it'll allow some substitutes to get in the game. Tyler Johnson looked. He was up, but he's headed back to the bench now. J.J. Trainer set to check in for the cards as a core four will get a break after a pretty uh, pretty good three and a half minutes for him to start the second half. Yeah, core four with a couple of rebounds and a, a putback on an offensive board there. Doesn't get a ton of minutes, and really, if you look at what he gives you compared to Dennis Evans, even Huntley Hatfield at times, I think a core four has got a chance to get more minutes. Ball movement there. Clark, White, out to Trainer. They didn't dribble, they didn't settle. When they actually come down and get a little ball movement, it's amazing what an open shot will do for you as Trainer knocks it down. Cards out two for three from three early in the second half as they're back up one. And spins and scores in the paint for a 39-38 New Mexico State lead. A little quick with that shot on that possession for the cards. Not a bad one, but. No, what a bad shot. Just again, a little quicker. You don't want to settle for threes. They did that early in this game, and that's how they got behind. Rawls with a miss, but nobody boxes him out. He grabs the offensive rebound of the paint, kicks it out to Jackson Posey. His three no good. Nice box out by Huntley Hatfield comes up with it. Curtis Williams set the check into the next dead ball for the cards. James thought about the three. And then James seems to be a little trigger shy right now on that shot as he's not been shooting it well the last couple games. Huntley Hatfield's baseline jumper comes off. James almost got the rebound, but Jackson Posey able to come up with it for the Aggies. Huntley Hatfield setting decent screens, but he's not making himself available off that. We really it's haven't that, seen it yet. We only seen it one that. time, and a core four got a pass in the lane and score. And Almost score, but he got a good shot. It's that little extra effort that you've got to give. And we haven't seen that from Huntley Hatfield so far. But Louisville back in this one hit a couple of threes early on the second half. Trail by one, 39-38. <laughs> a first child can be struck. Get ball as we close out the month of November. The ACC SEC Challenge coming up this week and some notable matchups. Tuesday in Rupp Arena, Miami, fresh off that trip to the Final Four. We'll visit the young cats. Yeah, and then you look at it, Texas A&M and Virginia, that's one that I look forward to. And then uh, Duke and Arkansas, but perhaps the best game of them all, Tennessee, North Carolina, don't you think? Some good matchups. I'm, I'm excited about these two conferences the first time we do this. Tennessee fresh off their trip to the Maui Classic in Honolulu. By the way, we had eight lead changes in that last segment of this one. New Mexico State a 39 at 38 lead. And by the way, Sky Clark has changed his jersey from 55 to 20. I guess the 20 jersey is the, uh, oh my gosh, beating the Sky Clock. Shot clock rolls over Huntley Hatfield. 
Mel Wagner must keep a jersey back there, the number 20, because <laughs> we had J.J. Trainer a couple weeks ago have to change to it. And you can see Sky's got a little, looks like a little blood on his shorts or something on his shorts as well, but he is no longer number 55. He's number 20, although he played pretty well as 55 so far this afternoon. He leads Louisville with 17 points and has not missed a shot. Six on the shot clock. Gets, taps it away on the double team. Trey White, the nice cut in the reverse. Nice job by a trainer of seeing that and recognizing, knowing that the shot clock was winding down and uh, getting it to White for the reverse layup. Trey White now with eight. Yeah, and you see Clark, he's got a bandage on his leg, so I think he must have, uh, as they missed a shot there and uh, trainer with it, he's got a bandage on that right leg on kind of uh, on kind of the calf area there, so it must have been a little cut or scrape there or something. Not to the ground and foul. And that'll be the second team foul of the Mexico State here in the half. And it's the eighth foul that Sky Clark has drawn in this game. That foul on Monzi Jackson, his second personal. And again, the second team foul on the Aggies here in the second half. Lua with just one foul. Lua's done a much better job in the last. Uh, 12 minutes of this uh, of game time is Clark the, sh the three pointer. Well, we're gonna get a. I think we're gonna get a box out foul here on Harris underneath as he was trying to box out. White White jumped up and he kind of oh, undercut oh, him a little bit. Uh, so we will we'll retain possession here down one. That's the eighth player now that have two fouls for New Mexico State. Kent Louisville's done a much better job the last 10, 10, 12 minutes of game action on the offensive end. The thing they haven't done is <clears throat> when they've gotten that one point lead a couple times, they've not been able to extend it yet to, to extend it to anything else. One is the largest lead they've had so far. Clark all the way to the basket, takes the hit, and he actually, they're going to call that a charge as Carpenter stood in there and took it and looks the heat, his head on the floor is grabbing his head. bad things there for Louisville because the turnover, the third foul on Scott Clark, who leads you with 17 points. And for the first time here in the second half, we're going to see Tyler Johnson, who has been impressive in his first half action. He's going to come in for Clark, who 17 points, one assist. Jackson Posey to Harris. Iziagu all alone underneath. Huntley Hatfield able to close the gap, but Iziagu goes under the basket and scores. And Huntley Hatfield. He's lost him. And Huntley Hatfield and Tyler, when they came to the top there, kind of ran into each other. And Huntley Hatfield a little late reacting, not able to get back. Trainer had a wide open three if he wanted, and tries to go to White. Harris knocks it away all the way to the basket, and then. Misses with Jackson Posey with the follow, and New Mexico State has increased the lead to five with under 12 to play here. And Kenny Payne has seen it off. He wants to talk about it because his team has fallen behind again. The Aggies of New Mexico State lead it 45 to 40. Lead on Louisville. You take a look at some of the notable non-conference games for the Aggies. Opened this season at Kentucky, a 40-point loss here today. They'll play New Mexico twice, a rivalry game. Stephen F. Austin at Tulsa as well for Jason Hooten's squad. Their last time out, they lost by 27 to Southern Illinois in the Cancun Challenge. That was on Wednesday afternoon. Came into today shooting just 42% from the field, and they are hitting 59% this afternoon here in the KFC Yum Center. Tyler Johnson, shot clock under 10 for Louisville. Out of that timeout, little jump hook by J.J. Trainer goes, and Louisville's cut the lead to three. Tyler Johnson, Trey White, Curtis Williams, Brandon Huntley, Hatfield, and Trainer on the court for Louisville. And Tyler, John, Tyler just makes things happen. That's just his second assist, Kent, but early in the, in the first half, there were at least three passes that were either to the free throw line or should have been an assist because they missed an easy shot. and. They're gonna call. Well, what did he, did he hit him on the? What happened? He he's gonna call the foul on Trainer. Oh, 
Did he not let him land? Is that what the call was? I am not sure. All right. We'll figure it out. 45-42 to Mexico State, 11-14 to play. At the University of Louisville, we don't just live in the city. See, I'm saying real quick, we'll take a look at that last play just before we went to the timeout. You see Robert Carpenter tries the three. J.J. Trainer comes out on him. It's an air ball, but you see he doesn't give him room to land. He lands on his foot, and that, that was the foul that was called the verticality cylinder rule, and we're going to have an 88% free throw shooter get three free throws here in a three-point game. So a huge call there, Jody, and you see that pretty much every game in well, the NBA. I, I, you see it three yeah. or four times, but you don't see that call I, in college too often. I'm not sure I've ever really seen it called in college and at a tough time in Kenny Payne and Lee Cassell having some words there at the break and you saw the rule. Not, not surprisingly, the 88% free throw shooter knocks them all three in. And a shame for Louisville because it was off an air ball where they were going to get the ball down three and instead they have it down six with 11 minutes to play. Tyler Johnson, Curtis Williams, Trey White, J.J. Trainer, and Brandon Huntley. Actually, we'll get another foul here on the Aggies. That'll be their fourth team foul. It was on Jackson Posey. That was his third personal. Card set to throw it in again. Sky Clark leads Louisville with 17 points. We're going to get another foul here. As Sky Clark on the UofL bench, though, with his three personal fouls, how long can Kenny Payne afford to keep him I, I, over I think, there? I think he can put him back here in just a couple of minutes. That was on Cook there as he just grabbed Tyler. Johnson finds White wide open on the baseline, and he scores. Look, Johnson makes the biggest difference in this team. He has to be on the floor for Louisville, in my opinion. He is the playmaker on this team. Yes, Sky Clark is going to score points. He's going to get the basket. And a deflection, another deflection. He's about to force a turnover here. And how about Curtis Williams diving for the ball? And we're going to get a 10-second violation. The second one of the game here forced by Louisville. And the fans who are here are up and cheering. Two freshmen out there. Curtis Williams diving on the floor. Tyler creating this. It's one of those times where you wish it wasn't a 10-second violation because it was an easy layup for Tyler Johnson, but Louisville gets the ball. Oh, and then turns it over. We get a, I thought we were going to get a jump ball here. We, we get a timeout for New Mexico State. They had the possession arrow anyway, so they could have just waited for the jump ball, but they'll retain possession, and Jason Hoot's squad leads it 48-44 with just over 10 to play. Here's a look at Sky Clark. He leads Louisville with 17 points this afternoon, five of six shooting. He does have three fouls right now. He's on the bench with 10.37 to go, and he's also changed jersey because had a little blood on his number 55, so he's wearing number 20. New Mexico State set to throw it in. They lead this one by four. And Kent, that turnover from Louisville was, again, Huntley Hatfield just given a little bit of lack of effort there. He didn't come to the ball. It wasn't a yeah, bad pass. Make, make good make idea by Trey White. White. Yes. Cooks three off, but is he out of the offensive rebound and the basket? And the lead is back to six for the Aggies and Jason Hooten. Look at him running up and on the sign. Tyler all the way to the basket and then just throws it away. Tried to get it to Huntley Hatfield. This game getting away from Louisville a little bit as Harris drains the triple and the lead is back to nine. And we'll see if Kenny Payne wants to take the timeout and think about it. He does not. Sky Clark still not set to check in. Mike James and Emmanuel at quarter four are though. And we're gonna get a foul on Carpenter out front for New Mexico State. And here comes Sky Clark. I would imagine Huntley Hatfield going out. Curtis Williams going out. Cards need a little run. We have not seen a whole bunch of Caleb Glenn who made such a uh, positive difference in that Indiana game, especially on the big run where Louisville was able to grab the lead. James set to throw it in. In two or four, four back to James. 15 on the shot clock. Cards down nine, and they've only hit 
two three-pointers in the game. There you go, a core four with the nice roll, and what do you know, he gets the pass for Johnson, and this time, a little more patient and lays it in. By the way, Jody, a couple of Louisville ties on that New Mexico State bench as well. Zach September, the St. X grad, an assistant coach. And Noah Breitenstein, a graduate assistant. He played at Collegiate and Ballard. Second foul on Tyler. There's Zach September. Coached L. Ellis in junior college. He did, as well. L. Ellis is junior college coach. Rawls drives on James. Throw. Carpenter comes up with the catch in the paint. We're going to get a foul, I think, on Trainer as a core four blocked that shot. Not a whole lot there, but. I think the foul actually a little pushed before foul is on Trainer. That's, That's his second, yeah. And Carpenter, who just hit three free throws, is going back to the line. This is not trending good for the cards here. No, it's not. He does miss the first of the two free throws, but uh, Louisville's going to have to do something and do something here in a hurry just to get the momentum back in this game. Again, they've never been able to get more than a one-point lead. They had a stretch where they were playing pretty decent basketball. And just this looked like they're the most winnable game maybe... Uh, for a while, especially with New Mexico State, as Johnson drives and scores. New Mexico State coming off that trip to Cancun. Tyler maybe can ignite something there with his chance for a three-point play. Bellerman coming in here on Wednesday night. Ken, I know we've said this over and over again, but look, this, this kid has to be out there for Louisville to be successful. You just see it, the energy level with the team when he is running the show is different. And it also makes Sky Clark better, in my opinion, because he's playing a little bit off the ball. Tyler completes the three-point play. Cards back within five here. 8.56 to play. Here comes a little pressure. Clark on Jackson Posey. Gets it across with 23 on the shot clock. Rawls gets caught in the air and a core four with the steal. I was going to say he doesn't want to dribble it up the court. James just tackled it mid-court. Johnson, a trainer in the corner for three, and that one rattles out. They've been close. Loose ball on the baseline. It goes out of bounds off Iziago. And Tyler Johnson kept that alive. He stuck his hand in there, got a, got a hand on the ball, kept it alive, and Iziago falls down and goes out of bounds. Here's a look at it. Trainers three. Looked like it was going to go. Yeah, there's Tyler. Just knocked it right off the leg, and then Iziago had his foot out of bounds as he dove on it. See if the cards can get the ball in bounds. They get it to Clark. Johnson's corner three off the side of the backboard. Tipped by a quarter four. Trainer comes up with it. Inside, J.J. with, I think that was a dunk. He got a little bit dunk? of the rim. We'll count that as a dunk. That's four for Trainer. As the Cards have cut it to within three, Tyler Johnson sparking this run for Louisville. And the activity, the intensity is what this crowd wants to see. The fans who have decided to spend their Sunday afternoon in the KFC Yum Center. Louisville trailing New Mexico State by three with under eight to play. The lob to Iziago inside, he scores, and he's fouled, and he'll have a chance to complete a three-point play. The lead back up to five for the Aggies, 7.44 remaining on this Sunday afternoon. Noon, Joker and the Thief playing here at the KFC Yum Center, and the crowd trying to get into this, trying to get excited about what is a 56-51 New Mexico State lead right now on Louisville. And again, Tyler Johnson sparking the second half of the cards. 10 of 19 from the field in the second half for 52.6%. You see it. Six points, four assists, two rebounds, and a steal. He has been the difference maker when the cards have gotten in a hole. They were down nine. He came back in. They've sparked it. Now let's see if they can get them back into this. And with a five-point deficit and, and, uh, and 
Mexico State at the line. They got within three, and then Casey Iziagu with the basket in the paint. He has not attempted a free throw yet today, but this season, you wouldn't know it, shooting just over 50% from the line, but he knocks that one in. He hasn't missed a shot yet. Six for six from the field, one for one from the line. 13 points, eight rebounds for their big guy, and he's been the best big guy on the court this afternoon. Yeah, it's been Louisville since uh, they put a core four in about two and a half minutes ago. <coughs> That's the has been the best big guy for Louisville. He though. has been. Swing in the corner for Clark, a nice triple, and he got it. Scott Clark now with 20 points this afternoon, and Louisville back within three. See, no, there wasn't a whole lot of dribbling. It's passing the ball. You're so much better offensively when you don't sit there and just dribble, dribble, dribble. Carpenter, 15-footer is good. The core four backed off of him, thinking that he had he, he that he had help there, and there was no help. Almost a turnover, and it is a turnover on the little exchange there between Johnson and Clark. Was it? They're arguing that that was deflected by a New Mexico State player, but the officials do not agree. And. This New Mexico State team shooting 60% from the field, Jody. Yeah, New Mexico State team that coming into this was shooting 41.5% from the field. And again, we, we mentioned it earlier, but Femi Otokali, their, their best player, is not playing today. Christian Cook. Drives in, and he hits the jumper on the baseline, and the lead is back to seven with six and a half minutes left to go for New Mexico State. James in the paint, fouled by Carpenter. No, they call a foul on Iziagu, his third. They're going to give James two shots. I think he might just, he's going to get two. Yeah, he's, he's going to get two. two. He's getting two. I don't know that he was shooting. Actually, James just one for four from the line. Knocks that one in. Came in today shooting 88% but now just two for five. Cuts the lead to six with 6.15 to go. Cards are gonna have to get some stops here. We're gonna get another foul on Tyler Johnson and that will be the seventh foul on the card. So Rawls will get a chance to shoot some free throws at the other end. Just a little late there from Tyler. Good job on the pressure. That is his third personal foul. Rawls, the former Western Kentucky, Georgia State, and Western Kentucky players. 88% shooter so far from the line this season, but he's only attempted eight as Trey White checks back in for Louisville and a quarter for it. We'll head to the Louisville bench. Still haven't seen Caleb Glenn, I don't think, in the second half, have we? We have not. We have not seen Dennis Evans since the first three minutes of this game. Ross short on the free throw. We're getting a foul on Carpenter over the back. And guess what? We'll get more free throws at the other end. It'll be Trainer shooting. Trainer's first free throws of the game today for JJ. And the fourth foul there on Carpenter, who has 10 points. One of four double figure scorers this afternoon for the Aggies so far. Trainer just 54% from the line on the season. First one no good. James with the offensive rebound to White. He goes up, gets the basket and the foul. And Louisville will have a chance to get within two if Trey White can convert the three-point play. But Mike James made that play. Mike James has not had a great day offensively. He's over 5 from the field. 
He struggled and he made that happen. Not only did he save it, but he's able to get it to White. A lot of times guys will throw that ball back out a little bit, but he recognized that White had position and got it to him. And Louisville has a chance for a three-point play. And that was the fourth personal on Christian Cook. So now two Aggies with four personal fouls with still 6-10 to go and another miss at the line for the Cards as White cannot get them any closer. They trail by three with six minutes left to play. Oh, we're going to get a screen here by Kenyanga. A little scuffle. Uh, dust up between Johnson and Rawls. That'll be Louisville possession, an offensive foul. Cook and Kenyanga, who's kind of battled foul trouble all afternoon for the Aggies. Heads to the bench for the... This is third personal in just five minutes. All right, Louisville could tie with the three or get within one. Johnson all the way to the basket. He misses the reverse layup, but he's fouled by Jackson Posey, who does not agree with the call. Well, I, I don't know that he doesn't agree with the call. He doesn't agree with this. His teammate didn't help at all. He's asking his teammate to slide over and take a charge there. And uh, Jackson Posey, that's his fourth personal. Coming back, he missed a couple games uh, in concussion protocol. And I struggled Louisville. a little bit. That is three straight free three in a row throw misses for Louisville, including the front of a one and one by Trainer. And Johnson will get a second free throw here and a chance to get the cards within two. Now 13 of 20 from the line today. He missed, it. he missed them both. We're going to have to get some stops at this end. There haven't been a ton of them. New Mexico State shooting 67% from the field in the second half. Harris all the way to the basket. Oh, we're going to get an elbow from James. Yeah. Goodness, everything kind of working against the Louisville. Anything here this that you can. Yeah, I mean, he swung across his face. I... And now they're going to review that. Nothing really flagrant there. I mean, it's I was closely guarded. It's a basketball play to bring the ball across. I'm not thinking it's anything. I mean,. I've always thought about that cylinder rule we showed earlier. If your foot happens to be where you land, if your your nose is where I'm going, it's the that, same kind of thing. I don't know about I don't, that I, one. I, I the the other one, one. I, I, if it's just you don't see it in college. Right, right. The the foul they called earlier on trainer, but I can't imagine they're going to elevate this at all. But I also won't change it. It'll be a foul on my. It's going to be a foul on my. It's going to be the Mexico State ball. They're going to have the ball with. They're Five talking about it for a long Five time here. Ago. Let's see, Bill Covington. Okay. Cool. Cylinder foul, he said. He said it will return that, to a cylinder foul, so I guess maybe they had... That cylinder foul has been a problem today for Louisville. Louisville's had all kind of trouble with the cylinder. Overturn. Oh. He oh, didn't, didn't explain it. Oh. Maybe you need to clean your ears out, Joey. He didn't explain that. He said it's a <laughs> cylinder foul. Which, You're right. I didn't get the impression there. Well, that changes things. Is that what he told you? Is that what he told us? <laughs> I couldn't hear him. He said but, it's a cylinder <laughs> foul. He didn't say it will... 
be overturned to a, a Louisville cylinder foul. Apparently Harris was the one in the cylinder there, and there we see the verticality cylinder rule again, and that'll be the fourth foul on Harris, and James will get a chance to hit some free throws, and finally the Cards are able to knock in a free throw. Four different Aggie players with four personal fouls, and Jason Hooten didn't seem too fired up with the final ruling there. To me, that's kind of incidental contact in a game of basketball. You know what I mean? Like, it's like I would not have thought any differently had they not called a foul on that either right. way. Well, let's see if Louisville can get out of this cylinder that they've been in. It'd be a good idea to get a stop here if they want to win the game. 68% now that New Mexico State is shooting in the second half of this game. Iziagu has got the matchup he locks on trainer. He misses, and James with the rebound, and the Cards will have a chance to get within one or tie. Johnson, the basket look like he was out of control, but got it. This guy Clark, the swing to trainer had an open look. Johnson's three from the corner won't go, and Jackson Posey the rebound. Pretty much everybody around the three-point line on that possession. Yeah, and JJ, I think if JJ had pulled the trigger, he had probably a better shot. Tyler got a good look. I'm just not sure he was as confident as uh, Trainer would have been. And I'll remind you, they're now three for 16 from three this afternoon. Monzi Jackson drives on Clark, and that'll be a foul on Clark, and that's going to be his fourth personal with 4.09 to play. Clark leads Louisville with 20 points, one of three Louisville players in double figures. I don't know, that wasn't a hook on Jackson. Did you see yeah, him? it was It was close. I think the foul, I think he called the foul before he actually had the hook there. Jackson to the line for one and a bonus. And he hits the first one. is one for two from the free throw line this afternoon, but so far this season, he's 10 for 12. Former Polk State College, Wichita State, Jacksonville State player, knocks down both, and the lead is back to five for the Aggies. And don't forget, they have four guys with four fouls. They've got Rawls, Harris, Jackson, Iziago, and Cook on the court right now. Johnson all the way to the basket, kicks it to White in the corner for the three. Almost banked in. That was an awful quick trigger, I think, on that possession. Is that the shot you wanted? I mean, he came the down and warning. got it right to him. I mean, it's a good look. Very quick in the shot clock. Again, they lose Iziago, and the big fella... That's what Besides I don't want. You don't want to Jackson for the easy two. You don't want a wide open Jackson flashing down the lane when Iziagu's got uh, got position and give it to him for an easy layup. Clark again with a quick trigger on a three. White in the lane, draws the foul from Jackson, and Trey Watt will go to the line for two with the cards down seven. Oh. New Mexico State with the seven-point lead on Louisville. Some people just know that's not going to fit. Those are the people. New Mexico State with a seven-point lead on Louisville. The Aggies do have some foul trouble here for the final 316. As you can see, four different players with four personal fouls and one with three, but Louisville has a little bit of foul trouble of its own because Sky Clark leads the cards with 20 points this afternoon, and you see him wearing number 20 there because he got some blood on his 55 jersey. He also has four personal fouls. Tyler Johnson with three, J.J. Trainer and Brandon huntley Atfield with two. Trey White to the line right now for two free throws and a chance to get the cards a little bit closer, and he has that one bounce out and... Now 15 gracious. of 24 from the free throw line. And while New Mexico State's hit seven of its last eight field goals, Louisville has not scored a field goal in the last 254. White knocks in the second free throw, and this is a six-point game with 
316, and I would say a key 316 for this Louisville team coming off some positive momentum in New York. Yeah, that's the thing. You can't, you can't describe why. I can't figure it out. Why do you play so much better when you go on the road? You're playing much better competition. No disrespect to New Mexico State, but Indiana and Texas are a, a lot better than this team. And you Just play a better. wide open shot in the lane for Jackson, and he makes it, which is what they've done most of the time this afternoon when they have shot. And the lead is to eight now with 2.48 to go. It helps when nobody's guarding you. The lob. Trainer tries the one-handed slam, and that goes off the back of the backboard. Cook on the breakout. He lays it up and misses, and Clark with the rebound for Louisville. He's got a one-on-three break. What in the world was that? Johnson fouled in the lane. He took the contact and just wanted to get a shot out. I think he originally was going to pass that because he had James kind of flashing. And then when he got hit. He and then he realized, Ugh, I'm not going to be able to make that pass. And then he got hit and just kind of threw it up because there's no way. I mean, that was not a good shot. But Well, getting to the line is good in this situation because the clock stopped. But you got to make the free throws. Louisville yeah. is 16 to 25 from the line this afternoon. There's Tyler Knox in the first one to get them within seven. Again, it does not get any easier for Louisville. They'll have Bellarmine in here on Wednesday night and then at Virginia Tech at DePaul. Yeah, that at Virginia Tech one week from right now, that is a tough, tough opening game for this team. An ACC play. Turn up the pressure a little bit. Almost go up with a steal, but instead it's an easy agu dunk and it's starting to look more and more like new mexico state might get out of here with a win easy agu having himself a day the big fellow with 15 points and eight rebounds johnson the nice dish to trainer inside so Johnson, Johnson now with six assists. The rest of the team only has three, though. Louisville with pressure. Do not get the steal. Six-point game, 15 seconds on the shot clock, and just 130 now to play here. Rawls, they have the mismatch with Iziago if he's able to post up trainer. And instead, Rawls just drives in and scores because they can't miss. That's 10 of their last 12. That's going to be five on Cook. So Cook is fouled out. Team's hitting 62%, 68% in the second half. It does help that a lot of them have been wide open as Louisville has got missed assignments or just late on everything defensively. But still, they're putting I mean, the ball in the basket. When, when your 6'10 guy catches it that close to the basket, though, there's just not a lot you can do. Cards have gone with some smaller lineups, but they've also just been able to get some uh, favorable matchups on Iziagu as Scott Clark uh, now with 21 points for Louisville. We see Iziagu 15 points and 8 rebounds for the big fella. Kenny Payne's going to take a timeout. I can't, I, I can't figure out this team and why we go back to the whole thing about New York. They played so much better against better competition in New York City, losing to Texas and then losing to Indiana in close games. And the problem with this is, this isn't going to get any easier, Kent. When you look at the schedule, this is one of the most winnable games left on the schedule for Louisville. It's not getting any easier for this team. They've Again, got to do some things better. We've mentioned a few times, but also don't forget that their best player is not playing today. Femi Otakali, their Seton Hall transfer, is uh, out this afternoon as well. So you're right. This looks definitely like a winnable game 
beforehand, but really it's Louisville has only briefly led in this game. And a lot of the reasons because New Mexico State is shooting 62% from the field in the game, 68% in the second half and when the game has gotten a little tight late they're getting easy shots and making them four of their last five for the field and we'll see if the cards pressure can force a turnover and it almost, almost did. I thought he lost I thought Wells lost it but Harris spinning grab by Johnson and Jaden Harris will go to the line that's the fourth foul now on Tyler Johnson And I have to hope they miss a couple free throws and you got to hit a shot at some point or another here. Louisville, just three of 18 from three-point range. They started 0 for 8 in this game. We saw Caleb Glenn for six minutes in that first half, but have not seen him in the second half. Dennis Evans has played just three minutes. A miss in the free throw line and maybe some life for Louisville. A minute to play, down six. Clark, the trainer, gets easy out. In the air, scores, and he'll get a chance to convert the three-point play. J.J. missed the front end of a one-and-one one earlier, but... <laughs> 20 of 29 from the free-throw line. So Taylor Wilson and Joe Steyer in the front row there. The Hollywood seats for Louisville, hoping to cheer on the cards. 73-69, 56.7 left to play. Trainer does have 17 points and nine rebounds this afternoon. We're going to get Caleb Glenn in here. And Trainer hits the free throw. So Glenn for Trainer. Better defensive matchup. Career high 18 points this afternoon for JJ. 73-70, 56.7 left to play. Harris to throw it in for New Mexico State. And to Jackson Posey, they trap him in the corner, back to Harris. Now the key is not to give up an easy basket at the other end if you're Louisville. 20 on the shot clock. Big Probably. time defensive uh, mismatch here of James having to guard his Yagu. It's been a while since the cards have gotten a stop. We'll see if they can get one here. Five seconds on the shot clock. Rawls is probably going to take the shot. This shot is short. And I'm not. Uh, Trey White let that go, and I wasn't sure it wasn't. I, I, I almost <laughs> thought it was deflected there. I think Louis, is Louisville going to call a timeout? Louisville is going to call a timeout. I thought Tyler might have gotten a piece of it, but it. Okay, somehow Louisville's got a chance to tie this game with 26.9 seconds left. Louisville takes the timeout. Now they did this against, remember, they could call, call a timeout and the play coming out of the timeout the against Texas Sky. was a three for Sky. It was out under their basket. This, they've got to go the full length of the court. As you see, New Mexico State's upcoming schedule, University of the Southwest. New Mexico, and then the northern New Mexico. All and the New Mexico. New Mexico again, and Stephen F. That's Austin. That's after their little vacation. They went from Cancun right to Louisville. They've been here for a couple days getting ready for this game. And they've Jason already, they've already what played they to do western defensive. New Mexico. And they'll be back playing western Kentucky later this year again. But now in all the conference movement. You know, you hear about all the big teams, you know, the – the Power Five schools when they move conferences, but New Mexico State moving from the WAC to Conference USA this year. They're looking at something, and I'm not sure what they're they looking at. They might be looking to see if that ball was deflected, you think? Maybe timing as well. 26.9 seconds left. That was Kenny Payne's final time out, and the possession arrow favors the Aggies, and well, they were looking at the they time. Were the it looked like they were looking at the time. Do you go for a quick two? I think I do. Especially because you've been drawing. I mean, look, you've drawn well, you're also 30. Three for, you're you've, three for 18. For three. You've drawn 30 fouls in the game, okay? I mean, when you look at it, Mike James has drawn six, Sky Clark has drawn eight, and Tyler Johnson has drawn seven. Get one of those guys going downhill and get them going to the basket. Trey White, 13 points. Scott Clark, 22. J.J. Trainer, 18. 
Trainer Johnson, White, James, and Clark to throw it in for the cards with 26.9 seconds left in a game where they have trailed virtually the entire way. They have a shot to tie it, 73-70 in the final seconds, and here we go. Trey White pulls right up to a three and hits it. And nobody and we are tied him. at 73 as New Mexico State just let him have it. His first triple of the afternoon, and we'll see if Louisville can get a stop here because they're going to have to guard for the final 15 seconds. Rawls brings it across half court. Jason Newton will take his timeout. He has one more left. And he's yelling at Monzi Jackson for just letting Trey White go. Trey White just dribbled up the court, pulled up near the three from the top of the key. And, and, and we're going to watch that again. I mean, literally, he took the ball inbounds. He's the one that received the inbound pass, dribbled right down the court, and is like, okay, if nobody's going to guard me, and, and Izzy Agu tries to kind of come at the last second, but nothing there, and we're tied with 14.6 seconds left. Up. This is an 8-0 run for Louisville over the last 55 seconds of this game. Maybe a pivotal moment in their season because it certainly looked like they were well on their way to a loss this afternoon. Louisville's last lead came at 16-10 here in the second half when they led 38-37, but right now we are all tied up at 73. Louisville has led for just two minutes and 11 seconds in this game, Kent. Again, the possession arrow favors New Mexico State. Louisville does not have a timeout, you see. New Mexico State with one more timeout. All kinds of Aggies players with four fouls. Sky Clark with four fouls for Louisville, as well as Tyler Johnson, the two guys who really make this Louisville team go. But Clark with 22 points this afternoon, so he would be a major loss should we head to overtime. Tyler Johnson with eight points and six assists this afternoon. Trey White now... One for five from three, and, and, and Kate, boy, you'd never know it. He's, he pulled up and just for, shot it. Three for 18, and White was 0 for four, and he just pulled up, and it was easy. Now they're gonna get a stop. They do it like not to uh, not to have a big guy in the game. So they'll go with the same five they had before. Iziago has gotten some easy baskets inside, 15 points and eight rebounds for the big fella, and he will have an advantage on Trainer if he's able to post him up as. The crowd now up, and we are set to go. Harris set to throw it in. He gets it into Jackson Posey, guarded by Clark. Five seconds, Rawls, four seconds, three to Iziago in the paint, and we're going to get a block on Mike James, and Iziago is going to get some free throws with 1.5 seconds left. And goodness, I, we'll have to see the replay here. But uh, he was kind of leaning in. New Mexico State will use their final timeout with 1.5 seconds left. And this will give Kenny Payne a chance to talk some strategy as well. Ah. Uh. They've replayed it a couple times on the big screen. I mean, he was not straight up and down, Kent. That's the thing, I think. Let's take a look at As it. He's I don't set. know, he's set when he catches the he's ball. He's set when he catches the ball. That looks like a charge to me. That's a charge. All right, so it's going to be easy Iago to the line. He is one for one so far this afternoon from the line and 13 for 23 so far this season. So it's a little over 55%. Iziago with 15 points, Scott Clark 22 for the cards. They're seven of 11 from the line, Louisville just 21 of 30. That was an issue, but Trey White with a game time three with 14.6 seconds left. And here we go, 1.5 seconds left. Fans on their feet here in the KFC Yum Center. And Casey Iziago's free throw misses. He misses the first. He'll get a second and again a chance to give them a one point lead. Nobody has a timeout. Possession arrow favors the Aggies. 1.5 to play. Iziago, his second free throw is short. 
Rebound by Sky Clark. His shot from oh, comes up short, and we will head to overtime. And boy, that switch from his number 55 jersey to number 20. He does have four fouls. Tyler Johnson also with four fouls for Louisville. And a slew of Aggies with four fouls, so that could be an issue. Trainer on the cut, gets the basket and the foul, and that is Louisville's largest lead of the game right out of the gate in overtime. And Rawls is going to pick up his fourth foul. Trainer getting to the basket, rolling, just like we've been talking about all day. It's there for you if you do it, and a great pass there as Trainer gets the bucket. This is, by the way, the first overtime game of the Kenny Payne era here at Louisville. That's a 10-0 run for Louisville to take a two-point lead. J.J. Trainer to try and complete the three. He has a career-high 20 points to go with his nine rebounds, as we see Cook already fouled out and four Aggies with four personals. And we're going to get a foul right there on Jackson underneath as Trey White tried to get the rebound on the missed free throw. And that's going to be, guess what, Jackson's fourth foul. So now every one of the guys in the game for New Mexico State has four fouls. He's going to put Carpenter back in. He's got four fouls. Trey White's going to shoot two. And Kent, this 10-0 run is in what? A minute and about a minute and 15 seconds or so. They're going to review something. You know, hook and hold. Are we back to that? The hook and hold review, you think? I'm not sure. I was, I don't know, some classic Van Halen, though, while the officials review that. 75-73. Cards lead this game somehow with 443 left in overtime. A 10-0 run. Eight lead changes in the first four minutes of the second half. So we had eight real quick. This is the ninth. A 10-0 run for Louisville. I know it was close. I said 115. It's 112. Here we go. Yeah, it might be the hook that and hold. Looks like it is. Yeah. That... Well, maybe Bill Covington will tell us the right thing this time. <laughs> Illegal contact caused by hooking the opponent over or underarm with clamp to deceive the official into believing it was caused by you know, the opponent. A point of emphasis a couple of years ago, you saw it just about three or four times every game. Um, haven't seen it like that almost that looked pretty clear though didn't it we saw it a couple times in new york and i'm surprised we don't see it more often and, Jackson's. well i guess just two free just throws. two free throws jackson on the bench now you see him with his four personal fouls there's just about everybody on their roster has four personal fouls other than cook who's already fouled out with five they have five players in double figures, led by Eziago's 15. White's first free throw off the back of the rim. Louisville now 21 of 32. They've been so good at the line at times, and then other times just miss a lot of free throws. White knocks in the second, and the lead is three, the largest of the afternoon for the Cards. J.J. Trainer, a career-high 20 points, and a career, as tied his career-high with nine rebounds. As see if Louisville can get another stop here in a 76-73 game. Iziago to Jackson Posey. On the roll to Iziago, and the big fella is able to score in the paint. It's just too easy he's got for him. 17 points for Casey Iziago. You're one of these Louisville guys, just take it to the basket like you have been. You're gonna get fouled. 32 fouls. 10 on the shot clock. James will try the three from the corner. That misses. And a rebound for New Mexico yeah, State. Not, not a, a great lot. offensive possession there for Louisville. No, not a lot of movement, some standing around, and nobody taking it to the basket. Got to take it to the basket. Again, Clark and Johnson for Louisville, both with four fouls. Both pretty key to the operation for them. Harris has the ball knocked away, deflected, and a steal for the cards. Trainer and White combining to come up with that turnover. Both guys very active. Oh, Johnson. Clark back 
to Johnson. In the lane, his jumper right went halfway down and then comes out. I think we're going to get a foul on Mike James there. Is it? Yep. Did they call the foul? Yeah. He kind of crashed into two Aggies, so we're going to get free throws at this end for New Mexico State and a chance for them to take the lead. To see Brandon Huntley Hatfield for the first time since the under right before the under 12 of the second half so he has sat out about 13 minutes he's coming back in Rawls misses the free throw He's 0 for 2 from the line. The Aggies just 7 of 14 from the line. So Rawls will get a second free throw, a chance to tie this game. 3.22 to go. Possession arrow favors the Aggies. Each team with just the one timeout they get here in overtime as Rawls does tie the game at 76. Now, Kent, I don't believe as much in the plus-minus category here, but today it's pretty obvious. Huntley Hatfield's got to do something to affect the game here for Louisville. They're down 14 when he's been out there on the floor this afternoon. White to the back, cutting James, who almost lost it, but comes up with it. And that's going to be all for Carpenter. And Louisville is going to have to hit their free throws now. Carpenter will head to the bench with 10 points for New Mexico State. And the cards who are, I mean, such a huge advantage. 33 free throws to just 15 for New Mexico State. But the cards is 22 of 33 from the line. New Mexico State actually shooting even worse, eight of 15. I mean, if they hit 33 fouls on the Aggies this afternoon to just 15 for the card. So 20. Carpenter heads to the bench. Jackson will come back and he also has four fouls. Yeah, everybody on the floor again here with four fouls. Two guys already fouled out. Trey White, four for seven from the line this afternoon. And remember, the next guy that they would have to put in there is Kenyanga. And in five minutes of action, he's got three fouls. Yeah. Yeah. Louisville back in front, White. With 18 points. Ian Clark have both scored in double figures in every game this season for Louisville. Knocks them both in, and the lead is back to two. Well, to Jackson Posey. Isiago again on the roll. And good job Huntley by Huntley Hatfield. Hatfield. Catches up to him, though. Ten seconds on the shot clock. They're going to try the pick and roll again. Jackson Posey over in the corner to Jackson. His triple misses. And a nice box shot by Huntley Hatfield to get the rebound. We've been hard on him today because he didn't do a whole lot. That possession was Brandon Huntley he Hatfield recovered. on the roll. He recovered in time where they couldn't get it to Isiaga, and then he blocks out and gets a rebound. Clark all the way to the basket, and he's going to get. That's going to be five fouls, I think, on Jackson Posey. Was on roll? Yeah, no, they called it on Jackson Posey. I thought they were going to call it on rolls. And he's got a little bit of an argument. He's like, "What well, on me?" Because there really was. I, it almost looked like Clark just kind of lost it. Going, I let to see the replay, but. Clark's going to get two free throws, and Jackson Posey's going to get a seat on the bench over there. Just two points and four rebounds, but six assists for Jackson Posey this afternoon in his first game back after missing a couple because of a concussion. And Keelan Dorsey will check in for them. We just saw him briefly at the end of the first half. That's a tough call the freshman there. from Houston, Texas. Sky Clark. Uh, was there, it wasn't much eight contact. for eight today from the free throw line. 22 points, three assists, three rebounds, just two turnovers in 36 minutes for Sky Clark. Career afternoons for JJ Trainer and Sky Clark for the cards, and Sky yeah. knocks that one down, and the lead is back to three, which is the largest lead of the game for Louisville. Last time they led by three. 
was earlier in overtime, and Clark extends the lead to now four. Their largest lead of the afternoon, and 24 points for Sky as he increases his career high. Lee Hatfield again a good job of getting back there. Rawls with it. Ten seconds on the shot clock. He pulls up. Rawls hits the jumper though. Aggie's not going away just yet. Back within two. Rawls has 15 points. Clark to James in the corner. is three off the back of the rim, but Clark with the offensive rebound. 15 on the shot clock. Clark to a cutting. White gets the fifth foul on Iziagu. And now Trey White will go back to the line. And foul trouble really catching up to Jason Hooten in this overtime. I've never That'll seen be their fourth player foul out of the game. Have you ever seen a game with four players foul out? I don't think I really ever have. Our stat man, Ken Horn, who's done thousands of games, says he's never seen it before. Well, the crazy thing is they've got four more with four fouls. And Ken Yang has probably been their most prolific fouler. He and he checks into the game with his three fouls in five minutes of action. Trey White back to the line. White with 19 points, six of nine from the line. He might as well go ahead and join Trainer and Clark with career highs. His career high, 22 points in college at least for Washington. I mean, for USC against Washington. He knocks in that free throw. Seven of 10 from the free throw line. Hit the huge three to tie at the end of regulation. He knocks that one down. He's got 21 overall. And that's a new U of L career high for him. He had 20 against Texas last Sunday as the lead is back to four. And they get Trainer back in now without Iziagu in there. It's not as big of a matchup problem. Trainer played throughout that. He get it back in. That's the first time Louisville's had three 20 point scorers in a game since 2014. 15 on the shot clock. Rawls kicks it in the corner. Jackson has a wide open triple, misses it, and then the offense rebound by Harris, but he didn't bring it down. And Jackson tries to throw it, deflected. James comes up with it, but Jackson takes it away and then deflected. And <laughs> it's just a mad and scramble and down there. And it's, the I end result is Louisville basketball with 53.2 seconds left and a four point lead. And I think they're going to look at this. Are they going to look at it? Yeah, it's a. It's a it's close enough, you Here's gotta look at view. it. Uh, look, did it go off Trey White? I can't, I couldn't tell if he's got his hand on that. I thought he was a decent chance. I thought it was a foul. I thought they were gonna call a foul on Jackson jumping into White. There was a lot of fouls in that. Jody, what can this do for this team? Because this looked like with Look, about two or three minutes to go, it looked like they were with headed for another loss. With about a minute yeah, to go, right. this looked like they were go. headed for another loss. As a matter of fact, 55.6 seconds left. They were headed for another loss. And what this does, look, this is a game you should have won. This is a game you have to win if you're Louisville. If you can close this out, though, I think it's got to give you a little more confidence in, okay, look, they're going to get tougher. We're going to play against better teams. But... We've done something now that we really haven't seen them do in the last two years, and that's come from behind late and close out a game, if they can close out this game. They've still got 53.2 seconds left. They're looking at this for a long time. Jason Hooten running out of options on his bench. He has four players who fouled out. He has three players with four fouls. And again, he's without his leading scorer this afternoon, Femi Otakali, who was not available out with a sickness. 82-78, 53.2 left to play. And the players went out there ready to go and uh, Tommy Morris and Lee Celsto over at the uh, monitor. I mean, either he touched it or he didn't. <laughs> 
from the angle, the first angle we saw, I don't, I don't know that you could necessarily overturn it. I'm not sure how many uh, different they're angles gonna they have. It. It's going to be New Mexico State ball. How much? Oh, how much time on the shot clock then? Are they going to give him 20 on the shot? Did, did Louisville ever have possession of the ball? to be something other than 20 seconds because if Trey White didn't touch it right then it's not it wasn't ever Louisville's possession all right here's the look all right so well first of all did, did, but my question is did Louisville ever have possession of the ball that it should have reset to 30 right exactly you see what I mean yeah. right there it's 20 and the, the shot clock almost reset it did reset see, it, right it there. It reset when it went out of bounds, but there were 18 seconds on the shot clock, right? 17 or 18? And they're looking at this yeah, even longer. It could be 20. So could have been able to bring his team back down because might, this might take a... Now all three officials over, looking at the monitor. All the players. The leading scorer for New Mexico State this afternoon, Casey Iziagu on their bench with 17 points and eight rebounds. He has fouled out. Rawls, the leading scorer on the court with 12 points. And Jackson also, number 25, has 12 points. And they are looking at this for a long time and continue to talk about it. 17 seconds on the shot clock here now. I think that's what we saw when we were watching that replay just a second ago. So that should that should be right. And Kenny Payne is telling them, come on, let's just go. Louisville has built a four-point lead here in overtime, and they've done it with just one field goal. Trainer's basket to open the overtime when he, when he got fouled, but the cards are seven of nine 13. from the line in overtime. So now, I don't know how he got the 13, but it's 13 seconds on the shot clock. The ball was out off of White. With difficulty getting it in. Here we go, Rawls now with 10 on the shot clock. Rawls has 15 points. Harris maybe looking for a three. Forces that one up. It doesn't hit anything. That'll be a shot clock violation. A great deep, maybe the best defensive possession of the game for Louisville. And a good job by Louisville. And again, look who is in the middle of all that. Tyler Johnson being active with his hands and not letting anything happen. With now we're going to talk about this again. And don't forget, Tyler Johnson and Scott Cluck both started the overtime with four fouls, and they've managed to stay on the floor while there have been a slew of New Mexico State players. And just about anybody who does foul is going to foul out. But We're going to put 41.4 41. seconds. They have three players on the court right now with four personal fouls, and they have four players on the bench who've already fouled out, but they have to foul. You can't let them run the shot clock down, right? I mean, they, at this point, they have to foul. And that's going to be Jackson, and he's gone. And they were trying to get, and that's a that's a mistake there on New Mexico State because what they were trying to do is they were trying to get Dorsey, who doesn't have a foul, to foul, and he just couldn't catch up. He just couldn't get with it. And now we're going to see for these guys. Yak, yak, yak. Yak, yak. Yak, 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 yak seeing his first action. The, uh, Freshman from Australia. Tyler, four for seven from the line this afternoon. Make it five for eight. This is... This is quite an escape by the cards this afternoon. Up by five, up by six. Louisville does not have a field goal in the last 407. 
They lead by six. And Rawls kind of has to do it all himself right now. He takes that to the basket. Well, that was maybe easier than he wanted it today, but he's got 17 points now. And with 26.6 seconds left, Louisville, now it's just a matter of getting the ball in. They're going to foul. Somebody's probably going to foul out. Louisville's going to hit some free throws. <laughs> Five guys have fouled out. It's unbelievable. And two more have four fouls. 36 fouls. We're going to get 37. You're guaranteed of that. Louisville, 30 of 41 from... New Mexico State, no line. more timeouts. Louisville does have one timeout left. And the possession arrow favors the Aggies. Cards possession. They can run the baseline. Well, oh, looking to prove to three and three ahead of a visit from Bellarmine here on Wednesday night in the KFC Yum Center. In a game where New Mexico State is now shooting 59% from the field. They trail by four. Scott Clark to throw it in. Nobody guarding the inbounds man. And a hold right out of the gate. And we're going to get Trey Clark bumped his knee too. And there, Keelan Dorsey finally does commit a foul. Yeah. As he joins the gang. And Trey White will go back to the line for two free throws. No time off the clock. Trey White to the line. And a chance to... Maybe get a new college career high. He's already got a U of L career high, 21 points, but scored 22 as a freshman last year at USC against Washington. He will get two free throws here and a chance to increase his total today. And he knocks the first one down to equal that 22. Cards now 30 of 31 of 42 from the line this afternoon. Right with a miss. James almost with the rebound. And then did he throw that off of Yak Yak? He did. Yep, he did. James off of Yak Yak, out of bounds to Louisville. And we're going to... We're not going to review that, are we? What are we doing? We have blood or something on the jersey? Or... He's got blood on his jersey. We've already got the number, we've already used the number 20 jersey. What's the next one? They're reviewing this play. It's either off Mike James out of bounds or off Yak Yak and Louisville possession. Cars with three 20 point scores. When did you say the last time? It was 2014. All right, here's the review. Did the ball, the only thing I can see is maybe did the ball bounce on the out-of-bounds line before James tapped it? Because yeah. clearly he, he he was in bounds and he knocked it off a of yak yak. A five-point lead for Louisville. No, that was in. It looks clean to me. Yeah. And I think they're look, maybe looking at the time as well. Louisville possession. Meanwhile, Trey White's got cleaned up. The Mexico State has led this game for 36 minutes and 26 seconds. But Louisville has led for just about the last 6.08 and all of overtime. And Louisville leads right now 85-80, 24.5 seconds left to play. Tyler Johnson set to throw it in on the baseline for Louisville along, along with J.J. Trainer, Mike James, Guy Clark, and Trey White. Gets it into Clark. He's trapped in the corner, and he is fouled. And Guess depending what? on who that fouls on, fouls on Harris. And that'll be his fifth personal foul, and he is the sixth different Aggie to foul out this afternoon. Jason Hoot going to check in? Are they going to play with four? 
<laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. I, they don't have I think another they don't player. have another player. That's it. Femi Otakali is... Uh, they don't have another player. He's out today. He's not even in uniform. He is on the bench, but... Yeah, so for the final 21.9 seconds, New Mexico State is going to play with four players here. As Clark knocks in the free throw. Every point he scores will increase his career high. Now has 25 points. 11 of 11 from the line. Have you seen this? I've seen it a few times. I've never seen it in person, but I've seen it a few times in games. I was trying to figure out the most ever for a foul out. And I don't know what it is. It's Jordan Rawls. Pulls up, and even with four, he hits the triple. And this game's not over. It's a three-point game, and we're going to get... Oh, you know what, though? That's Kenyanga. Did he? That's just his That's fourth. fourth. Okay. <laughs> I said, every, every player who fouls out from here on out, they do have two players on the court with four fouls. If either one of them commits another foul, they'll be down to three players. We joked about three minutes ago that we wouldn't get to, they wouldn't get to 40 fouls. Well, guess what? They're at 39. If Louisville gets an offensive rebound here, they might get to 40. Clark makes it a two-possession game with 12.1 seconds left. It's one of those times where you're not really all that worried about going to double OD, because they might only have two guys on the court. But Louisville would much rather get out of here with a win here in this first overtime period, and the lead is five. 27 points now for Sky Clark. Just double the ball. Oh, oh my gosh, Louisville fouls. He was fouled. Why? Oh, my goodness. White's first foul. Keelan Dorsey to the line for two free throws. He misses the first. That's going to be foul number 40. Hey, just the second on Dorsey, though. Clark with 27 points, 13 of 14 from the line. Cards are going to get close to shooting 50 free throws this afternoon. These two will make it 49, assuming they don't get any more. Clark now with 28 points. He's 13, 14 of 15 from the free throw line. I think it's going to flip. I think he's 15 of 16. Man. No, he's 14 of 15. Oh, he's stuck. Okay. You're right. Sorry. I know how to read a sorry, stat, Sorry, Mario. sorry, sorry. Now, nine points. Five point nine to go. If you're just tuning in, New Mexico State with just four players on the court because they've had six foul out this afternoon and have another who was unavailable. No foul! No foul! No foul! The three at the buzzer is no good, and Louisville escapes in overtime. The Cards with a monster comeback in the final minute. The first overtime win in the Kenny Payne era. Jody, some final thoughts. Well,